Hello, my name is Darlene Johnson Calloway, and today I am going to share with you the spiffy little trick of wrinkling and crinkling your digital papers. So today we are going to be using Club Scrap Digital Papers and this particular paper that we have wrinkled here is from their January 2009 Give Me a Ring kit and this is part of the Club Stamp Digital Papers. So let's go ahead and get started. The first step is to come up with a wrinkled image and what I did is I took an eight and a half by eleven sheet of paper and I simply wrinkled it up and made it very crinkly and then I flattened it out and took a photograph of it and I wanted a photograph because you need to have light going across it and have the contrast here so that you can get your wrinkling effect so you need some shadows to show up on your paper for this effect to happen and a scan just won't work so after I took my photograph of my picture I simply extracted it from the background and cut it out so I just had my paper left now in order to do this effect we're going to be creating a displacement filter and with a displacement filter it uses the light and dark values and it needs to be simply black and white so we need to remove the color and to do that we will just go up here and go enhance adjust color and remove color and the color is now out of that particular document now we can open up the paper we would like to wrinkle and we will simply click and drag this into our document and resize it <laughs> um, here we go it's right here and then you want to position it so that you will not see any of the paper that you're trying to displace underneath you don't want any of the edges peeking out and once you have it in place we're going to create our displacement filter to do that we need to create a document that has a slight blurring to it so simply create a copy of this layer control J is the shortcut and then we'll go up to our filters and we will go blur Gaussian blur and you know we we just need a slight blurring so that the edges don't get too harsh on it so let's do it somewhere right around 10 and uh, depending on the amount of light and dark in your paper you might want to play with it and just try it out and see what works for you so once we have our blurry filter we want to go ahead and control a control C to select the layer here and select this blurry document and we need to create a brand new document a new blank file and it needs to be the exact same size as the document that we're in so it's going to be 12 inches by 12 inches with 300 pixels per inch so go ahead and click OK and then paste it control V right into the center of your document now we'll save it file save as and you'll just want to um, save it as something that you can remember and we'll just go displace paper so we'll save that up and then we'll just uh, once that saves we'll knock that down there out of our way now we can turn our blurry layer off and we can also take our wrinkled layer off and we want to be on our paper layer that we're trying to uh, we're trying to wrinkle here so that we can create this effect and we will simply go up here to filter distort displace and these settings are perfectly fine for us and now we will find the paper that we just created displace paper and we'll open that and then it works its magic and if you look here closely you will see that all of a sudden there's a slight shift and what has happened is the dark areas of the paper have um, gone recessed and gone backwards and the light values have gone forward and raised whereas if there's simply kind of like a gray area it has no effect on it but now that we have the paper slightly displaced we can go ahead and turn our crumpled paper on and this time we're going to change our blending mode to multiply <gasps> and there it is there's our wrinkled paper now there's only one little problem there's a little bit of slight um, shadow showing because it's slightly larger than our paper but that is very easy to get rid of we'll just create a clipping group and we will go group with previous and now since it's right above that layer it's it's perfectly um, in line now so that was pretty fun wasn't it we took beautiful paper and wrinkled it up
Now I also did a little experimenting myself and I tried it out on uh, a 12 by 12 paper and this time I took and wrinkled and crinkled and I actually tore the paper and put a couple staples in there and also created the fat and this was with a 12 by 12 sheet of paper. Now I will tell you that it works better with lighter colored papers. Uh, if you try and do it with a darker paper because it's darker the shadows don't show up quite as well but if you run into that problem where it's not showing up all you have to do is duplicate your layer and you can get more of a shadow effect once you go to that multiply. So if you do run into problems just duplicate it until it looks like you want like, like you'd like it to be and of course if it's too light you can always adjust or too too much of an effect you can always reduce the opacity and play around with it so that's the wrinkle and crinkle effect I hope you enjoy the tutorial and uh, look for more tutorials in the future